What is going on dudes and lady dudes? Welcome back to Just Nuts. Guys, today we've got some cool new news. Well, cool to some people, uncool to others. I don't know. Uh, we got interesting news, we'll say, <laughs> today. So uh, we're going to be going through some information released from uh, you know, Konami in Germany, as well as um, some new information for the Duelist packs. And I guess we'll start off with the stuff from Germany. So first things first. All right, we're getting information from Europe, and therefore cannot confirm that it will apply everywhere else at this time about some pretty big changes, starting with Eternity Codes. So to start things off, the new rarity, the one that we've been seeing, we've been calling it Prismatic Secret Rare mostly, or like Alternative Rare, uh, does have an official name now. It is officially called Starlight Rare. Um, so that's pretty cool. I think it's a fine name, and it's it's fitting, and, and it's good to just have an official term for it. Cool. Next with Eternity Code, regular rares, the card with no foil artwork, foil artwork, but a silver foil lettering on the names, has been retired. Similar to Speed Duel uh, booster sets, you will no longer receive these in your booster packs. So that's really interesting there. I think that's... I, I've heard some arguments why it's really, really bad for, like, the market, and anybody who's budget, or even who's not budget, I mean, like, nobody wants to pay more money for, like, anything. Part of it is, like, when they have to increase the number of like supers ultras and secrets like in the set it means like it waters down the possibility of you pulling the ones that you want if that makes sense um like if you're trying to get if there's only like two secrets that you're interested in that's two out of eight well it was but now it's two out of ten so like you go from a 20 per, or a 25 percent chance to a 20 percent chance of being able to pull your thing and so because like the demand will rise because it'll be harder to pull the prices should rise on all all of them not just secrets but ultras and supers too supers now there'll be 26 i think uh was the new ratio for supers and that's kind of crazy um so i hear those arguments there but there also are some other arguments for why it could be okay just in the sense that like a lot of times a really cool card comes out that you like or a new archetype comes out but konami didn't really think they were like that incredible to make them foils so they made them like rares and you're kind of just like oh that card's way too good to just be a rare now it's and now it could have made it into like a super rare slot more cards will make it into a super rare ultra rare and secret rare slot so like i guess there are some some like silver linings there on how it could be okay but i think generally it's just gonna like make prices higher and if Konami is not, like, making a concerted effort to, um, I don't know, like, reprint those cards quicker than they ever have before, like, new cards, um, it, it, it kind of might stay uh, as a thing where the prices are just going to get higher and higher for just any new cards that come in a, in a regular set. So, we'll see what happens there. Um, next with Attorney Co... Oh, no, 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 we already said that. Oh, there are additional... So, like we said, there are additional super secret uh, and secret rare cards in the set that will be distributed flat instead. All cards will be evenly distributed, which means no short or underprinted foils in main sets for the foils. That's actually really good. I mean, when you combine these two things, it actually might balance out a little bit, especially as far as, like, the, the, the secret rares, like the hard-to-pull cards that they did end up like shorting now if they don't short anything even balancing that with the new like ratios may just kind of end up being in your favor like better than it was before in terms of trying to get the more um desirable foils so th that's nice it's definitely it's definitely nice to see it kind of coming off of the short print thing the starlight rares will be bumped up from four to five cards per set i think they've been into that and they'd like to put one more in there get more like collectible um aspect to like the set in there which is cool and then it's not known uh, how the distribution of alternative foils will go now that there is no rare to replace so they're still figuring out there um each tag will, uh, each pack will contain eight commons and a foil card and then rain uh, also rares are not gone indefinitely they made like a, a point that right now rares they don't have plans to bring rares back but they might just see how it goes if it's really if it really doesn't work out they can go back to rares um if not there and i just like that communication that's really nice to see konami just straight up telling the community like they're not gone indefinitely let's just try it out if you guys don't like it we can figure it out from there but that's kind of like pretty cool for a big company like this to go out there and talk like this to, just on like equal footing um, Ignition Assault is also confirmed to be the last sneak peek, so these events are going to be discontinued. From Eternity Code onward, there will be a pre-release event in which you can 
get better promo cards, which are much play, much more playable is the phraseology they used, apparently. But, like, obviously translation things, because they were in Germany. With the visit of the event, you get the right to purchase one box of the set, and the rest of the event will be open dueling. So, uh, technically, it's sneak peek is done, but, like, I think they might just... They're kind of just changing the name and, and slight things about the format. But it's not like they're just, like, cutting it out cold turkey and not replacing it with anything. So, that's fine. Not the biggest deal there. Um, special editions will be discontinued with Eternity Code. Um, Ignition Assault will be the final special edition product, and a new product will replace it in the future. More information will come later on this. There's, like, not much information here on what the replacement could be. Is that going to be another... Is it going to be, like, a different type of, like, follow-up set in which, like, we're still getting, like, more prints of the cars that came out in this set? Or are they just, like, going to just put brand new sets? And instead of, like making special editions it's just like another new set and just getting more new products but not getting more quantities on market of those original products i'm not really sure we don't have information on that but obviously we'll get updated and then rush duels will not be introduced to the tcg for now they will remain remain exclusive to japan and um rush duels are, are currently considered the uh, ocg equivalent of speed duels so i i think it might just be like a um beta testing thing where they're going to see how it goes in Japan if it's big enough, if it's cool enough, if enough people are into it, they might try and bring it here, so um, that's pretty much it for that side of it and then we also have some information on Legendary Duelist, or Duelist Pack is what the OCG calls it, but I'll call it Duelist Pack for here um, so there's a new change to it, they're going to be changing the format to this, where uh, it's getting renewed Right? This time the pack will contain uh, cards used by three duelists from the anime and manga who use dark monsters. It will include new cards for these duelists as well as reprints of versatile generic cards to help you build their decks. The release date for the OCG is going to be May 16th, so we should actually be getting information on this pretty quickly. We're like just over a month and a half away from them getting this, so... Oh wait, never mind, I'm sorry. <laughs> A month and a half. Three and a half months. So we actually probably have a... I don't know. I always mix up March and May. It's going to be a minute before we actually find out information on this. I would guess like a month, one to two months before we actually start fi figuring out what, like, who the duelists are, what their car some of their cards are. But interesting. Um, yeah, there's not really much else to say here. Oh, the other thing that they say at the bottom here is gloom here is specifically a kind of gloom or shadow heavily associated with the gloom or shadow and darkness of like the underworld in um, various classic mythologies. Um, a really dreary, deep darkness. So, when you look at these, like, you just see, like, dark monsters. Like, like characters in the show that use dark monsters. Well, that could range a big thing, like, a big, a wide margin, but there are duelists that use dark decks, but the theme of the deck is not necessarily dark or gloomy or evil or whatever you want to call it, right? They just, their monsters just are dark attribute, but it's not an evil deck. You know what I mean? Uh, but because of, like, the way they, like, specifically say how, like, they talked about the word gloom, it does make me think that it's going to be more so like that. More so, um, like, dark, like, evil kind of stuff. And the other thing here is that some people are, like, I, I think I think this has some, some push and pull on it on, on whether or not you like the old format more. First things first, you gotta remember, like, if Konami wants to keep making this product, and this is a pretty, this is, like, a pretty, um, desirable product to a lot of people, just, especially people that love the anime or manga, uh, cause, like, some of their favorite characters are, like, getting their cards, like, um, not only probably reprinted, but also revamped with new stuff, which is pretty cool, but, um, like, you only have so many characters, <laughs> like, you can run out of characters eventually, so cutting down from five or six, which is what it used to be, to three makes it so Konami can make this uh, as a product last a little longer without having to get boring and going back to old duelists you've already done and, and stuff like that, which can be pretty cool. Um, and the other thing is, like, they're probably going to do more cards per archetype now, right? If there's only three, it means instead of each like deck getting only, like, three to maybe five new cards of support... Like, they might be getting 6 to 10, you know what I mean? And and really, Konami can really revamp any archetype and give a lot of stuff. And they can make cool anime cards that aren't particularly good, but people might like from a collectible standpoint. But also, they can make a more competitive edge to it that make the decks actually more interesting on a competitive level, which is pretty cool. And I think, I think overall, this will give them a, a higher possibility of making some of these decks better competitively, which is what people want to see. Like, people want to see these decks, like, get competitive. 
Like, it, there's, like, nothing cooler than, like, if Black Wings were to get, like, back into the meta. Stuff like that. Like, if, like, Red Eyes is a dark monster, right? So that could be something, because that's kind of, like, an evil dragon sort of type thing. So, like, you get Red Eyes in there. Like, Arch Fiends would be a really cool one. A lot of people like that, because it's, like, such a classic archetype in Yu-Gi-Oh! Stuff like that. And so, even though we don't get as many, and so there may be a smaller possibility of there being a one of the decks, particularly being a deck that you like, Right, three. You only have three chances here, whereas it used to be like five or six chances for them for it to be a deck that you're like, oh, that's lit. And now there's only three, so you may not. There's might be a smaller chance that you'll find one of these decks appealing to you personally. But still, I think overall this will be a good thing. Um, and yeah, like that's all I want to do here. Um, I'm definitely probably gonna make a video on this talking about like what maybe be like a prediction video on what three duelists I think will be. Um, used in here um with like a dark monster with the dark monster or attributes archetypes whatever um but so we'll see but I'm, i'll probably be working on that just doing some research you know what i'm saying <laughs> uh, but yeah i think that's pretty much it guys just getting you some news over the past couple days um it was a busy weekend for your boy so we're gonna be um figuring that out soon. oh also the secret the uh starlight rares for this set for Ignition Assault, I almost forgot this. Perpetua, Asa, um, Sky Striker, Ace Rose, and um, Lightning Storm. So, pretty cool. Why now? <laughs> it's never going to stop. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. As always, subscribe to the channel if you have not yet. And, um, I love you.